It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about the voice recorder app on the Google Pixel 4. So the Google Pixel 4 is the latest phone by Google, and one of the really cool features it has that no other phone has is a really cool voice recorder app that comes pre-installed on it. And, well, it, it's a pretty simple app that really easily records anything you want. So if you might record a meeting or something, and or maybe voice notes or something, and then you can play it back. But the really cool part is it has live transcription of the voice. So anything you say, it, um, it recognizes it like a Google Home does, and it transcribes it all into typed out words really easily. And it happens in real time, so as, it's being, as words are being said, there you see that see it flashing across the screen and it also works offline as well so if you're somewhere where there's no or really bad internet you can still use this it'll work really well because it all works on device so that's really cool as well so in this episode Timmy's going to show you all about so that. on your new Google Pixel 4 there will be a app that looks like this so it's red and has little squiggly lines and says recorder so once you open that app, it's a fairly simple interface. So if you've ever made any recordings before, they'll be listed here. So there's that one and that one. And if you want to, you can really easily just tap play on either of them. Or if you want to start a new recording, you can tap on this red button down here. So Timmy's going to do that. And now it's recording and it will be transcribing as you're speaking. So you can see here, this is audio. But if you tap on transcript down here, then as you're speaking, you will see the words appearing in like pretty instantly. So as pretty much as soon as they're said, they appear here and you can see the transcript of that. So that's really cool. And then whenever you want to stop it, you just need to tap on pause. And now while it's paused, you can tap on resume if you wanted to keep going. But if you don't want to keep going, you can tap here and add a title. And then it's got three words here that it's suggesting you might want to add to the title. So because to me said transcript and English and look, several times, then those are three things that it's suggesting. So it would suggest different things depending on what the recording was of. And then it says the location it was recorded in. And then down here it says the amount of time it went for. And you've got a delete button, a resume button, and a save button. So if you're happy with that, you can tap on save. And now it's saved as one of your recordings. And then if you want to play it back, you can tap on your recording and press play if and you want to hear it or you can tap on transcript down here if you want to see the transcript of all the words and you'll see where it's up to when it plays it's recording you'll see it jumping it across the words so that's really cool as well so that's really cool and then if you tap on back you go to all of your recordings and one of the coolest parts of this app is the search so you can search something so for example if you were to search transcript so when you search transcript it comes up with all the recordings where someone has said transcript. So as you can see here, the yellow bits represent the words. So to me said it's transcript twice in this recording. So it's bringing up this recording and then you can tap on it and it's going to take you straight to where you said transcript. So it can be really helpful for so many different applications and it's really helpful. And you can also share these recordings with people. So if you wanted to export the transcript into a Google Doc or something, or if you wanted to send the audio file to your computer or someone who wasn't there and wanted to hear everything, you just need to hold down on that recording that you want to share and then tap on this share icon at the top and then you can choose share audio file or text file or audio and text file. So it'll send both of them if you choose that or it'll just send a text document with the transcript if you choose text file or it'll send the file of the audio recording if you choose audio file. So this is really a really helpful app that comes on the Google Pixel 4. So that's really all there is to it. It's just a really simple audio recording app on the Google Pixel 4. And if you found value in this video, please consider leaving a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please click on the subscribe button down below. And that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.